I'm Natasha Arnold from the Virginia Beach Public Library, and in this video we'll be making a chest of drawers out of popsicle sticks. For this project, you'll need a whole bunch of four and a half inch popsicle sticks, one eight ounce bottle of wood glue, good craft scissors, a ruler and or an angle, sandpaper, a sanding block or a sanding sponge, and just in case you want to use them, some cardstock templates and a bowl of water. First, as an optional preparatory step, I highly recommend soaking your sticks in water for at least 10 minutes. This makes them softer and easier to bend and cut later on. Grab a whole bunch of popsicle sticks. If any of them are noticeably bent or broken or have big knot holes in them, put them aside. We need sticks that are really straight. If you've soaked them first, you can pretty easily bend some of them straight if they're warped. The top, middle, and back are the biggest parts of the chest, so let's make those first. Count out 25 sticks and lay them edge to edge. If you're using the templates or a ruler or an angle, you, these can help you keep them evenly aligned. For this next step, you need a few more sticks, but you can use some that are broken or a little bit warped if you'd like. Cover one side of each of these sticks with wood glue and lay them across your nice even sheet of sticks so that they run perpendicular to them. Do this until all 25 base sticks are evenly supported. And don't worry about how much glue you're going to get everywhere, we'll deal with that later. While you let the glue dry a little, count out another 25 nice straight sticks. Put some wood glue on the support sticks. Then one by one, lay the 25 sticks you just counted out on top of them. Again, if you're a real stickler, pun may be intended, for keeping everything as even as possible, break out your ruler or your angle every now and again just to keep this layer looking good. If there are any parts that still seem a little wobbly, you can add a little more wood glue to kind of caulk it up. And let it dry! To make sure it adheres as securely and evenly as possible, I like putting it on a flat surface and weighing it down with a big, heavy book. While that's drying, go ahead and make another one. The top, middle, and back have the same measurements, so it's just the same process two more times. This is the same method you'll use to make all the other sides of your chest. Thankfully, none of them are as big as these three. You'll use a total of 24 for each side, 16 for each of the bottoms, 14 for each of these lower inner sides, and 8 each for the upper inner sides. To make supports for the smaller sides, just use a pair of scissors to cut some sticks to fit. Like I said at the beginning, this will be a whole lot easier if you let them soak first. Don't throw the excess out, you can probably use them when you start making your drawers.
So now that we have all our sides, let's put the whole thing together. I like to start by gluing the bottoms to the back. Let it dry in an upright position. If you have a couple of items that are somewhat heavy and stand up straight, you can use these to keep the structure in place as it dries. Now we glue the outer sides and the inner lower sides. Make sure to glue them to both the bottoms and the back. I'd let this part dry completely before we move on to the next step. Because now we fit the middle into place. The middle's a little heavy, which is why you should let the sides get nice and dry before you add it. Glue it to the back, sides, and tops of the inner sides. If you have something that's the right size, you can use it to hold everything in place. Now we'll add the inner upper sides and we'll let them dry too. And finally the top. So while that dries, we can make our drawers. Each drawer is going to be made of five pieces, four walls and a floor. Each of these pieces is constructed similarly to the pieces that made up our chest, but with the supports exposed. The upper drawers will be square shaped, while the lower drawers will be rectangular. The sticks are all going to need to be cut and trimmed down to size, so if you have any pieces left over from making your support sticks, you can probably use a lot of those in building your lower drawers. But let's make an upper drawer first. Count out a total of 25 sticks. Trim them all down to a length of 4 inches. Make sure you cut off the rounded edges. Now divide them into one group of nine and four groups of four. Make some small support sticks and make your four walls out of the four groups of four. They'll look kind of like little rafts. Be careful though. Make sure your support sticks are only just long enough to barely cross into the territory of one of the outermost sticks. You can add extra glue around the edges to give it more support, but this edge needs to be as clear as possible. The finished wall should look something like this. Make the bottom drawer using the remaining nine trimmed sticks. Assemble the drawer. Lay the floor support side down. Then apply glue to the edges of the walls you left clear. Stick the walls to the floor with the support side facing inward. That's one drawer done! Repeat that process for your second upper drawer. The bottom drawers follow the exact same steps, just using different measurements and a different number of sticks. Use seven sticks cut down to three and seven eighth inches for the floor. Each wall should be six sticks high, with two walls cut down to two and three quarter inches long, and the other two walls cut down to four inches. Once all your drawers are dry, you can sand everything down to get rid of any dried glue or uneven edges still sticking around. Now all you need is a way to be able to pull your drawers out. There are plenty of things you can use if you want to get creative, like thick buttons, marbles, beads, who knows. 
But for each of my poles, I glued four of the rounded stick edges together, with the outermost one a little longer than the others. It gives me a cool little handle I can pull. Finally, just fit your shelves into their slots. And there you have it. You can decorate it or paint it however you want, if you want, and you have a very neat way to organize. Thanks for watching! Thank you.